Great to be with you uh, in your group right now, everybody. Um, thanks for continuing to study uh, together as a church family and in your group, the Beatitudes. And as you know, uh, we have, this is the last Beatitude, last uh, study on the Beatitudes before we go into uh, the sermon, uh, the rest of the Sermon on the Mount. And in this last Beatitude, Jesus says to his disciples, Blessed are you when you are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you, persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you on account of me. Rejoice and be glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. This beatitude is one that I would encourage you to memorize because it is a beatitude that every disciple of Jesus, as they posture themselves as peacemakers, merciful kind of people, pure in heart, hungry and thirsty for righteousness, humble and meek, as they mourn, as they're poor in spirit, from this posture of humility, as they proclaim the gospel, they will, you and I will, experience what Jesus said in this beatitude. And there is great hope, though, that Jesus points us to. And that is, great is your reward in heaven. And he also says, you're in good company. You're not the only ones who are reviled against or insulted by their commitment to me and my message of forgiveness of sin. There are countless others throughout history, um, all the way through the Old Testament. And even as we saw in, as you saw in the sermon on Sunday, even today around the world, the website that I referred you to, I would encourage you to maybe even pull up tonight as a group. And let me give that to you one last time. The website is called, find it here in my notes, Open Doors USA. That's opendoorsusa.org. All lowercase, no caps. Encourage you to Look at that and read some of those stories. And you'll, what you'll find is people all around the world, our brothers and sisters, who right now, from a humility condition of the heart, desire all people around them to know the God of peace through Jesus Christ. And so what they do is they proclaim the gospel. To everyone and they're suffering for it. They're put on trial, they're being fled or pursued. They are in fact experiencing this beatitude that Jesus describes and tells us. And so my challenge to you as a group is maybe not only to look at that website together, but I want you to consider a big question. Is it possible that one of the reasons we in the West may not experience that kind of persecution is because we are too concerned about being peacekeepers and not peacemakers who humbly live to serve others and who humbly proclaim the news of Jesus Christ and the forgiveness that he offers to others. I don't know but it's worth a conversation. And then the final question that I want you to consider, along with the questions that are provided with you or for you, is when was the last time you shared the gospel with someone? Would that be a colleague, a neighbor, a friend, or even somebody randomly that you see in a coffee shop or meet? When was the last time? 
I hope you have a great study together as you dive into this beatitude. Trust that you will be spirit-led um, in your conversation and look forward to next week with you as we continue now, uh, or continue then, I should say, into the rest of the Sermon on the Mount. God bless you all. I hope you enjoy your time together now.